Yo, what it do, what it don't, what it is, what it is, and you already know what this is. This is once we're not saying magazine dedicated to shit that I'm into. Zian, I'm your host, P Fire, aka R.I.P. Virgil Abloh, and yeah, mad love to you, Virg. Um, salute. And this is another episode of nice bit of kit that I'm outside, but I'm inside because it's raining. So without further ado, let me pretend I'm gonna go around the corner and then come back into shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna. We here, we here, we here. Yeah, yeah, oh, be back. Alright, guys, you already know what it is. Quick little toilage. Quick little toilage. Toilage. Let me give you some close ups. I know the lighting's kind of crazy right now, but you know, we'll give you a little bit of the close up. So, guys, on today's episode of Nice Bits of Kit That, we have this Stone Island waxed ice cream two let me just give you a little close-up right there all right so i've had this for a little while might be a couple years now um time's flying um i think i picked it up at the beginning of lockdown um the first lockdown once once everything started going crazy anyway let's get into it so we have this beautiful fetching brown color you know what i'm saying let me just give you a little close-up there so you can see again the lighting's kind of crazy so i'm hoping we pick up all that we need i might just lower the brightness so we can catch the tones a bit more you know what i'm saying all right yeah that's a little bit better don't we think all right cool okay guys this is a large right um but i think it's a little bit bigger a large is normally a 23 um actually this might be i just think the cuffs are loose um i didn't buy this brand new um so here you have a look at the cuffages nice and ribbed quite lengthy these cuffages as you can see quite a lengthy little cuff there you see there's a bit of rummage there quite a bit but this is also very um loose at the moment so you know previous owners worn it to the ground maybe they had fat wrists you know what i mean brick layers wrists or whatever but yeah <laughs> um, um, so, but nothing too crazy, you know, you can always get that sort of seam to a little tighter than jibs if you want. I'm not really bothered because normally I've got hoodies on that are quite um, thick at the cuffage, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so you have that nice black rib, not too ribbed, just sort of finely ribbed there. If you can see, let me just give you a close-up of the ribage. See, nothing too crazy, just a little thin lined ribbedness. Okay guys, let's look at the length, as you can see, um, this, my waist is here and this is just by the waist, so it's like that typical bomber jacket kind of style, it's not really a long coat, do you know what I mean? I'm just going to zip up and then we will get into it. The zipper, YKK zipper right there, nice sort of silver burnished with the YKK, you got that nice canvas um, zip pull right there, see that, you see that, so that goes all the way up and this zips all the way up to the roof of the neck, the roof, not the base, the roof, um, I'll show you that in a moment, okay, so let's look at the button, sorry, so that zip as you can see goes up like there and you've got this nice zip strip in black and then that folds over like that and then it's flattened by these buttons here as you can see really nice buttons thick chunky they're thin but they're thick if that makes sense um let me just button that up and they are all burnished with the good old stone of island okay so there you go right there as you can see, very nice. Zipped up, really, really nice. Okay, so left pocket, right pocket, really nice. So these pockets, you could actually store some stuff in here. Like you could put right in these side pockets and also they're at the perfect um, sort of um, position for the pockets. So these pockets right here, they are very, very nice. And you can store bars of gold, couple Morris Miners, um, put a couple of the kids in, take them to the cinema. If you've got a little scooter bike that you want to take to work, you know, and then put on the tube, but don't want to make a mess on the tube, so you put it in your pocket. This is the pocket for that. I know, I've gone off, but hey, pockets, I love them. So yeah, look, there I go, hands in the pocket, walking down the street, my hands in my skyrocket, everything is beautiful. Okay, and these pockets are, just so I show you, they are zip-up pockets, you see? zip up right there zip down and just in case you weren't sure zip up and zip down and of course equilibrium c'est une belle thing it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing and obviously these zip 
um, zippers, YKK once again, they have that nice canvas zip pull um, as well, and that's on both sides. Okay, so it zips down, so I can put me hands in my skyrocket. Now, you might think, that's all the pockets we have there. No, it's not, because on the same said pocket, you now have these other pockets which are buttoned down by a um, couple metal rivets, and boom, let's open that up. Equilibrium is a beautiful thing, and this, is perfect for your hands in your skyrocket. This is the hands in your skyrocket sort of um, pocket, really. I mean, these are good. These are, good. I mean, these are perfect. But these are also perfect. So, but these are for your hands. I wouldn't put anything in there. A couple gold coins, maybe a dog and bone, but nothing too much. Just, I'd, I'd leave them empty and leave them for your hands. Keep them toasty when it's cold out, like it is today. Okay. So we have four pockets straight away right there. Now, what else do we have here? Of course, we don't have any other pockets, but what we do have is a wondrous, let me just zip this down so I can show you in its full resplendity. I'll take this off. Don't laugh at the Barnet people because, you know what I'm saying? It's not good to pick on people. All right, look at that, look at that. Now, that's what you call a, a bloody a hood on a jacket. Look at that. Tappity tap tap, doesn't matter. Rainfall, doesn't matter. Now, this isn't waterproof, but it is water resistant. Um, but you don't want to get caught up in the rain, obviously. But if you do, I mean, where am I? No one knows. Let me zip this up so you can just see what I want. All the way up, Ooh, caught the beard in, caught the beard in. Look at that, you get me? Let me just give you a little side show so you can see. Give you a little side so you can see. You've got the nice peak. I mean, if you wanted to roll the peak up, then of course you've got that cotton underneath, bubbled. Um, I did de-bubble this, but this is old, so it's bubbled. Um, boom, nice. See that? Got the nice shield around the mouth. You know what I mean? I mean, you might possibly suffocate yourself, so you've got to be a bit careful. Um, but yeah, it's super, super, keeps you warm keeps all the elements out and it makes you look a bit dangerous, dangerous. Anyway, let's zip it down a little bit and let's look at the inside of the coat because that hood is very nice and as you see on the inside it's all, you know, like cotton right there. Or it could be wool, who knows, whatever. Let's take the jacket off. So, of course, you have your stone island right there course you have your stone island patch right there the compass right there um, and you have the waxed eyes labeling etc there you have this little pocket in here which is um, attached by a little button so pocket and there is the button um, what else do we have of course you've got the care labels right here this is a made in Tunisia piece not a made in Italy or anything like that just drop the cap on the floor, that was that sound, let me pick it up. Smooth, I'm so smooth, it's, it's, it's seamless when I'll be doing this, it's seamless. Now, the eagle eye amongst you have already noticed, because you're eagle-eyed and you're smart, what's that then? What's that beautiful badge? What's the badge? You know what it is, black and white, special process. And as we know, they use the special process badges when they develop a new uh, material or a new um, infusion to said material, all right? And that's what this is. So you're asking, what's the special process on this? Well, I am about to show you. Now take a look at this. Let's see what we have here. I know what you're thinking. Oh my God. P's touching himself up, he's turned into P for pervert. No, not quite. I'm just trying to show you something. Look at that. What's that? Is that my handprint? Let me do it on this side because I don't think that hand was hot enough. You see what's happening there? Can you see that? Look at that. Let me just give you a close up right there. This is a heat reactive jacket in case you hadn't worked it out. See, my hands are pretty cold, but see, that stick, that's stuck, so you can see that one. I don't think I need to do any more. And that is the special process. So what happens is, when this gets really cold, as you can see, you get this brown, this dark brown, sort of chocolatey kind of, um, let me step back. That, you see that dark brown? But then when it gets 
warm you get the lighter brown so as you can see under armpits our armpits are normally warm because that's where you emit a lot of <laughs> emit emit a lot of heat from and if you actually touch that that's pretty warm not smelly just warm same armpits right there as you can see and of course I went and heated up my hand um, not like that guys I'm a lefty anyway but um, <laughs> and yeah and now you see my fingerprints you know what I mean I better erase that before the popo come you know what I'm saying you know what they do with a black man's fingerprints that's another story anyway guys this has been a stone island <laughs> iced waxed ice too jacket and um, this came in another sort of um, color like an orangey kind of brown like an auburn I would say maybe auburn maybe a yellowy orange that kind and there's the actually wax ice um, just jackets you know what I mean they've got like a long trench coat version they got this kind of version so there's a few of these out remember there's a wax ice too and a wax ice slightly different you know and um, the wax ice is more I think pr prominent and this is sort of like a lower level one I think but yeah so um, guys that was the Stone Island waxed eyes two jacket heat reactive special process super duper hood from the jacket yeah and on today's episode i am rocking of course the good old barber cp hat i'm rocking this um sesame street cause t-shirt um, it's a Uniqlo and Cause collaboration. Um, Cause is an artist. Um, check out um, his stuff if you're not sure about him. Really dope. But he done quite a few collaborations with Uniqlo. They were like 12.99. You know what I mean? His work goes for millions. So you know, it's a good entry level um, to his his um, sort of clothing or you know collaborations, I should say. So if you ever see Uniqlo have a new Cause offering, definitely get yourself some. You know what I'm saying? So I've got that on. I've got some. Blue jeans from River Island, I believe, and I got on some Skeptors. Got the Skeppies on. Skep, 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 Skeppies on. Skep, 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 Skeppies on. Skep, 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 Skeppies on. Okay, my beautiful people, that is a wrap, man. Um, sorry for the sort of chaotic nature of this, but you know it's cold out there. It was raining, and yeah, I couldn't film outside like that. So I've just rushed onto into the block, and here we are. Um, but yeah, rest in peace, Virgil Abloh. Like I said at the top of the um, episode, and yeah, man, he, he done a lot of work, man. I remember when we was first starting hearing about him and he'd done the first 10 with Nike and it was like he changed the game um, you know and I just hope that I can leave a legacy like he left you know not the same but you know just so knowing that I fucking went balls to the wall and here we are doing what we do and doing what we love so yeah mad love to all you guys man make sure you follow your passions follow your love do as much whatever you whatever makes you happy whatever makes you smile make sure you do that and you already know what this is this is the one we're not the same magazine to shit that I'm into this being another episode of nice bit of kit that and I've been your host P5 aka P is for pumpkin pie no I ain't because I ain't sweet and yeah <laughs> I don't know guys I don't know it's been a while um, I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of content so stay fly stay dope you already know what it is peace mad love and I'm going to catch you on the flip side